I'm Dr. Vivek, Senior Consultant at Shaker Eye Hospital. Today I'll talk to you about blindness due to diabetic retinopathy. So as we know, India is the world's diabetes capital. Bangalore is the India's diabetic capital. So we have a lot of diabetics here and the more alarming trend is that we are seeing a lot of young diabetics as well. We see 35-40 year olds with diabetes and related diabetic related complications like kidney involvement, eye involvement and all that presenting fairly early in their uh, age. So these people are still 35-40 years of age. They are still in the peak of their careers or they are still in their ascendancy of their careers. They have a long way to go, a family to support and things like that. These kind of diseases affecting such people is definitely an alarming trend and hence it, is, it makes it imperative for all of us to be aware of such conditions. So what is this diabetic retinopathy? As we know diabetes is a multi-system disorder which is due to poor lifestyle basically which is also predisposed by some genetic factors. So which is characterized basically by uh, increased blood sugars. So when it happens, the sugars which are more in the blood, it tends to get uh, linked with other uh, parts of the body like proteins and uh, fats and all that. And these tends to get deposited in various parts of the body, most commonly the blood vessels and the rest of the cells also. So these glycosylation end products where all the proteins also get attached with the glucose molecule, these tend to reduce the function of all the cells in which they get housed. So if they are in the blood vessel, they reduce the blood vessel function. If they are in a liver cell, they will reduce the liver cell function. Kidney cell, they will reduce the kidney cell function. So that is how they tend to damage. And this is universal. It happens to every cell in the body. Just like the eye is a window to the world outside, it is a window to the world inside as well. And hence we can make out what is happening inside the body by looking at the eye. So that's how uh, we come to know what is happening inside the Body, we can actually make a guess as how badly the other organs of the body were also affected by just looking at the eye in detail. So, over years, what happens, the higher blood glucose levels tend to deposit these glucose molecules along with proteins, damaging them, losing, making them lose their property. Indeed, the most important thing is the blood vessel damage. So, the blood vessel starts becoming leaky. Imagine you have a pipe in your uh, a water pipe in your house, which I mean, at least nowadays it's on PVC pipes. Earlier, we used to have these wrought iron and aluminium coated pipes, which used to get tend to get busted after some time. So when the when it starts rusting or corroding, it starts leaking. So that's how an old blood vessel, which is affected by diabetes, looks like. So it is not able to function as well as it was supposed to do, as it was doing it earlier. So these leaky blood vessels initially starts leaking on the water. Then because of the increase, the size of the leakage, it starts leaking bigger products like uh, fats and proteins and cells and all that. So these tend to accumulate in their respective organs. So that is when the, uh, the pathy means, pathos means disease. So the pathos, it's a nephropathy means kidney damage, retinopathy means retinal damage. So these things happen. So, the advanced stage of this condition is when the macula, that is the central area of the retina, tends to get swollen and abnormal blood vessels starts growing because of the mismatch in the uh, demand and supply of the blood inside the eye. So, when these things happen, the vision loss happens. Generally, with macular edema, the visual loss is moderate. So, they can see, move around, see what is uh, being reserved in the plate for food. But at the same time, they cannot read and write, they cannot do any fine, fine work and things like that. Whereas when it uh, goes to the next level, that is proliferative diabetic retinopathy, which is characterized by proliferation or abnormal, uninhibited growth of blood vessels, it is called as PDR, proliferative diabetic retinopathy. That is characterized by bleeding into the eye, called as vitreous hemorrhage, or the uh, blood vessels start shrinking and lifting and pulling the retina, called as fractional retinal detachment and things like that. So when these things happen, the vision loss can be much more severe. So yes, if anyone asks me a straightforward question, can diabetic retinopathy cause severe blindness or total blindness? I say yes, because we have seen so many patients who uh, do that. In fact, just the other day I saw a 43-year-old lady 
who gave to us, who has been a working woman supporting her family. She is absolutely unaware of the diabetic retinopathy that is happening and it's like she has gone into the advanced stage. Now the vision also has come down to around 10 to 15 percent, but she is that I mean whenever a new diagnosis or some new problem is being told to people, they are in denial. So they refuse to accept that they have this, this kind of a serious problem. So despite me showing photographs and explaining the condition, she was in denial. So it's so sad to see that such a at such a young age, that lady who is a breadwinner for her family, is actually ending up in a very, very advanced stage of diabetic retinopathy. And she might even lose her vision totally. Right now it's itself, legally she's blind. And if any vision less than 30% is considered as legally blind, she is having around 10-15%. With immediate treatment, there might be a possibility that vision might improve to 30-40%, but even that is very difficult. But she is in denial, so the outcome seems to be really, really bad for her. Which I'm, I mean, I mean, I feel very sorry about that. But that is that is the reality. So if someone asks that he can diabetic retinopathy cause blindness, yes, it can cause. So what what is the remedy in that case? So from the time of diagnosis of diabetes, like most of us uh, diabetics are get diagnosed by say around 25 40 years of age initially we'll be on uh, tablets for some for a few years and then when the diabetes control is inadequate with the tablets we switch over to insulin these kind of diabetics are called as type 2 diabetes whereas the ones which require insulin from the beginning are called as type 1 diabetes so in type 2 diabetics from the time of diagnosis whether your physician advises you or not you need to get your eyes checked annually you need to get that certificate from the retina specialist saying that everything is fine, retina is normal, there is no diabetic retinopathy. And the retina checkup has to be done after putting the drops. There are no shortcuts here. Don't go to Chota Mata places, don't go to some optical shop and uh, get your the, uh, reading glasses and say, I have done my eye checkup. No, that is not the eye checkup. You get the reading glasses from there only, no problems. But the eye checkup has to be done by a retina specialist after putting the drops. So when you do that periodically, we can pick up these conditions at a much earlier stage and can definitely prevent blindness. See, in these instances, with whosoever patients are come, I've been working in the same place for 16, 17 years, I can straight away claim that I would have prevented blindness in most of those people who have come to me periodically and followed my advice. So it's not that I am doing something extraordinary or unique, it's just that if you follow Keep your diabetes under good control, be under periodic checkups, and take adequate treatment as and when necessary. Blindness due to diabetic retinopathy can be prevented in more than 95% of the cases. So, no need to get alarmed. We all need to be aware. So, there has to be a difference between being afraid and being aware. I'm not scaring you. We need to be aware. Get your diabetes check regularly, keep it under good control, maintain a good healthy lifestyle, be under regular checkup, take appropriate treatment. In more often than not, more than 95 to 98% of cases, we can prevent blindness in such people. So, be aware, be strong, be healthy. Thank you so much.